All right, so once a month, it's a good idea to activate your lockers. Of course, you don't want to do this on pavement. It's uh, bad to lock up things. So we're going to use gravel. Luckily, my driveway is made of gravel. So I got to do this once a month. And uh, the first thing you got to do is you got to get yourself into uh, low range. So I'm going to back up just a bit. And you just need to kind of go ahead. And this may be difficult with a holding the camera, but you need to roll forward, slide it into neutral, and hit low. And then what will happen there is it'll show low. That's all it is to it. Okay, now we'll engage some lockers. So the first one you start with is number one. I'll throw it into reverse. And usually this one pops in pretty much right away. Or at least it should. So it's activated already with the red light. All right, and I just want a few feet. Two and three. You could actually press all of them at once. And you see on the, the amber shows that they're trying to, or they've acknowledged a command. And then that's one locking. And I feel number three trying. So I'm gonna go and back up and give it a little bit of help. But all you're doing is making a gradual arc. So that way you have a difference in wheel speed. And that'll allow it to, uh, to lock up. There it is. All right, so all three are locked. Not bad. All right, you can do this in reverse and forward. It doesn't matter. Every single wheel is now traveling at exactly the same speed. All right. And this is good to exercise them. Otherwise, they'll stick. And, uh, you know, even the steering wheel, like if you notice, gets a little bit... It doesn't want to stay where it is. This is normal as well. When your diffs are locked, you're going to lose ABS and all the traction control functions. So that should look like that. And again, this is a 2012. So now let's come out. And the way to do that is you just basically shut them off like that and then drive. And they'll start to unwind one after the other. That's it. We're still, of course, in low. We want to go to high. And that's all there is to it. You only need like two or three miles an hour to do that. Now we're back in normal road driving conditions. And the, uh, the monthly lock and unlock is done. Thanks for watching.